Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video where I am going to be analyzing the paper of computer networks and protocols which was given today. Okay. So uh, from my passing package, most of the questions have arrived in this paper, and this paper was very easy, guys. Okay. So easily you could be scoring very good marks in this subject, but there is only one negative in this subject, whatever we have written today. Everybody would be agreeing to that. Not everyone, but most of them would be agreeing. That is time shortage. I also felt short of time, I, and I couldn't be writing the module five questions. Okay, which I knew, but still I couldn't write. So, yeah, the time shortage was the biggest thing because I had taken a lot of time in attempting module one only. Because you see here in module one, the question one a various types of physical topologies available in computer networks so who whosoever sees this question right they would be right definitely attempting to write this question because this is a very easy question and most of you might after seeing this question only you thought that let us write one a and one b right most of you would have definitely thought that and that is the main mistake what we have done in this paper by because this had consumed a lot of time okay smartly they had said this paper uh, why? Because uh, they they wanted us to attempt this question itself. Why? Because this would be taking a lot of time. Then in the further modules, we won't be getting much time to write the answer. So that's why. Uh, good job by the paper setter, I guess. So let us see what would be the results. But yeah, around one hour I had taken to write module one itself because there was a lot of th things to write in the, both the answers, right? topologies as well as TCP/IP protocol suit. Okay, so both of them were very lengthy. So Module 1 only had taken a lot of time, then module 2, 3, 4, 5 again, uh, some uh, questions were expected but there was shortage of time so I could, uh, most of us couldn't be writing the answer completely, okay. The question paper was very easy guys and uh, most of the questions, I guess 80 to 90% of the questions were from my passing package. I've told you my passing packages are accurate because I uh, see the previous year papers, model papers and then uh, give you the questions which are very repeated ones, okay. So you could be completely trusting on my passing packages. Uh, now in the future we are having only one exam wireless after that we won't be meeting again but still in the up for the upcoming exam wireless communication also i'll try to provide one passing package for sure and uh, i know that i have not yet uploaded any videos of wireless communications so sorry for that because i was not having time to upload itself because there were a lot of busy schedules for me projects internships fifth semester for videos along with the, these two subjects videos microwave cnp and also that's why there was not no time at all to do the videos for wireless communication okay and uh, frankly saying uh, i also didn't knew some of the concepts of that subject so that's why i couldn't do it so now we are having two days time for this uh, exam again i won't be keeping any membership for this everybody please access it and tomorrow definitely definitely i'll try to upload around six to seven videos important stuffs along with the passing package okay tomorrow you would be getting the passing package morning itself around 11 to 12 o'clock you would be getting the passing package for the subject please go and watch all those questions and whatever i've told you in that uh, passing package questions that I, I, in the form of videos i would be telling you the answers as well in the upcoming videos okay so along with the model paper solutions you know, in the drive link i would be giving you the so solutions as well so if uh, if i couldn't be doing those videos i would be providing you the solutions okay yeah so quickly let us discuss now nothing much to discuss here all the questions were repeated and straightforward okay so only one thing is that i i, I had forgot to tell you about the program part in module 2 they had asked program right 3c was a program c program to perform bit stuffing and 4c also c program to perform byte stuffing i hope you have attempted this because in the lab internals also i guess the your teachers internal teachers might have taught you this program so if you had learned that it's well and good for you you would be writing this uh, program okay so here the question 1a and 1b straightforward I, I had given in my passing package also 2a explain LAN and WAN uh, LAN and WAN with the help of neat diagram again the net, network uh, types of network in that I have mentioned and 2b also direct question what is an ARP that is address resolution protocol explain the operation of ARP and its packet format with suitable diagrams again this was expected 3a explain CSMA and show the behavior of three persistent models of CSMA this was there I have covered it in my video. Describe flow control and error control in data link layer. These are the data link layer services, flow and error control. In that, they have asked for five marks. So, third 3C was a program. 
4a explain csma ca protocol with flow diagram so the flow diagram only well, for this uh, it would be taking around one page to draw the flow diagram along with the uh, you should be writing the csma ca3 uh, important categories which is uh, based in uh, interframe space uh, contention window and acknowledgement under contention window also we are having one diagram if you write those explanations along with the definition of collision avoidance along with the flow chart easily would be getting 10 marks okay uh, 4b explain the ethernet frame format of standard ethernet this was also expected so for 5 marks they had asked 5a for module 3 explain the working of dhcp i have given in my passing package and they have mentioned it dynamic host configuration protocol you need to be mentioning the uh, request response diagram and uh, with respect to client and server how the message formats are there it consists of request reply acknowledgement and all with respect to that you need to be mentioning the parameters of dhcp and its packet format okay 5a 5b with the need diagram explain the virtual circuit approach and its various phases of operation so i have covered it in one of my conceptual videos virtual circuit approach it's very very easy that in the input side when, when it uh, uh, passes from the network layer in the form of label that is 4321 at the receiver and also in the same format it will be coming out okay 4321 so that is the virtual circuit approach i've covered it in one of my videos go and see it okay so 6a explain ipv4 datagram format with neat diagram i've told you they would be definitely asking the ipv4 addressing and datagram format ipv6 i was sure that they won't be asking but ipv4 they had definitely asked because ipv6 was a very vast concept okay there was a lot of things to be writing if they asked ipv6 in minimum five pages of answer you need to be writing it so i thought that they won't be asking it and they had not asked it 6b explain distance vector routing along with the c program to perform distance vector routing so 6b 7a explain connectionless and connection oriented protocols on transport layer the same question with not even a single word changed i had given you in my uh, pre passing package video because this was taken from the model paper so that's why uh, this question was given then explain the working of go back and protocol i have told you especially they won't be asking stop and wait i either go back n or uh, select you repeat any one of them they would be asking and they had asked go back okay so 8a with the neat diagram explain the state transition diagram of transcp uh, sorry tcp this also i have given you in my model paper uh, sorry passing package 8b explain udp services along with the neat diagram of pseudo header and checksum have in my same question i have given in my passing package also without even a single word change so the same question had come so 9a so 9a they had asked three things to be explaining in this question only i felt uh, short of time in writing and i couldn't be attempting both of them half of i have attempted so they won't be giving you they won't be giving marks for me i guess in that okay because only half of i have attempted in both both these questions so this is www that is world wide web along with the diagram http that is hypertext transfer protocol and ftp file transfer protocol okay 9b was explain the architecture of electronic mail or in short you could be calling it as email with a neat diagram so all of the questions were of 10 10 marks so you should be writing a lot but uh, if you have written only one page or uh, one and a half page it's not sufficient you would be getting only five marks okay because uh, it is an l2 question and for this subject i've told you in my passing packet also minimum two and a half to three pages for 10 marks question is must okay so yeah 10a explain dns namespace dns in the internet and resolution same question i had given it in, given it in my passing package and this had come 10b explain remote logging in 10 net with the need diagram this also remote logging concept i have given it in my passing package okay so most of the questions was was, given, was there in my passing package and uh, the questions were repeated and the paper was overall easy but only negative marking is that time was not sufficient because most of you i guess 70 to 80 percent of of the people who had attempted this exam had definitely attempted 1a 1b because they thought that it is easy but while you go to write the answer right you would be taking a lot of time okay around one i had taken a one hour like i started the exam in two and i ended ended module one in 310 or 315 okay so that much lengthy i had written because that much things were there to write okay because four topologies one one topology if you want to explain one page you require along with the diagram right so it takes a lot of time so the paper setter had done a smart thing and uh, they had benefited vtu for the uh, application 300 rupees in advance i guess i don't know <laughs> so yeah that's all for this video guys upcoming videos for wireless communication would be coming soon please please watch those videos passing package would be uploaded soon watch them and uh, support us guys okay thank you